Today, Innovista Crew will be presented with a scenario that's all too real in our industry. Um, right here on this pole in the rural area outside of Colville and Addy, Washington, um, two of our employees will come into electrical contact. Journeyman lineman Mike Tudloff and safety and health specialist Jim Womble spearheaded this mock accident and coordinated with numerous agencies to achieve an extremely realistic scenario designed to test the company's processes and procedures at the actual accident site, but also around the company. I just wanted to see what the response time was, how we handled it, um, how the communication piece would be if, if cell phones, radios would be a problem, and to see how internally the company does. Um, talking to the crew this morning, briefing them this morning, they pretty much knew absolutely nothing. Um, they were very responsive to the, to the idea that this is going to happen. So you guys are kind of the starting this thing. The company really wants to run this thing through Spokane in different areas. And this is just kind of a test to see how things work starting on the crew, but see how it flows for the communication piece through the officer group and through HR and everybody that's involved that way. So. The crew gets his first look at the scenario and is given just a few moments to assess the situation before the clock starts ticking. On the crew today are Avista employees Keith Eglin, Mike Mounts, Les McKinney, Mike Pickering, Travis Wagner, and contractor Brett Gleave. Hey, you guys okay? Keith, it looks like they got in for something. Mock emergency. We have two guys down, electrical contact. 2001D Marble Valley Basin Road. Uh, 48 degrees, 23 minutes, 148 seconds north. Come on, guys. Now, right now, there's nothing drawn up. How do you save alignment? There's not a book on how to save alignment off of a pole. We do it, we practice it, um, we do it at a, in a controlled uh, situation around Spokane and everybody does it in their own areas, but they don't really come out in the woods and try to see what it would take, so it's, it's all about safety. Okay, buddy. The whole experience is just an adrenaline rush because you know what's at stake there, it's a life. Okay, we'll work on it a little bit longer until the ambulance gets here and then we'll go work on an LZ for the helicopter. Copy that. Shock advised. Charging. Stay clear of patients. Deliver shock Where? now. Shock delivered. Patient. They both have burns and they're both CPR. Okay, he's got a line. So neither one's breathing. Uh, we're going to have to put them on backwards and get them out of here sometime so we can get them through the ambulance and into a helicopter. And back down. You know, at one time the sheriff's standing here and uh, different uh, uh, volunteer firefighters and volunteer paramedics and their EMS. The volume of response was huge and I wasn't expecting that and uh, it's pretty impressive. The injured employees are transported by ambulance to a landing zone set up for the MedStar helicopter. I have you at my uh, 12 o'clock right now. Uh, we do have an LZ set up uh, a little bit uh, to the east. Uh, it came together real well. I think we rescued two victims today.